crash and go traffic jam that slowly morphed into a winter disaster. Hundreds of drivers on I-95 in Virginia were stuck for almost an entire day after a snowstorm and truck accident backed up cars for miles. So with no police access and no food or water, how do you make it through? 7 News reporter Colin Roos is live to show us how a car emergency kit should include more than just a spare tire. Colin. Catherine, many of the cars behind me on I-70 are just on their daily commute to or from work. But even on the shortest drives, it's hard. It's, there's no telling how long a traffic jam will keep you on the road. I spoke to emergency officials today about where to find help when there's nowhere to turn. An orange and a Dr. Pepper. That was all Senator Tim Kaine had as he spent 26 hours along I-95 between Virginia and Washington, D.C. this week. And while he may have been the highest profile stranded driver, he was just one of hundreds who were trapped in what they called a parking lot along the highway. A lot of those folks were either uh, on their way to work, coming home from work, uh, or just making a you know was just making a short drive, so they didn't have supplies in their you know in their vehicles. A helpless and panic-inducing situation, but one that Marshall County's emergency management director says many of us are familiar with. He's seen it before on the West Virginia Turnpike when an accident and severe weather combine to create headaches for officials that layer on top of each other. So what should we do? If we find ourselves in a similarly terrifying situation, Hart says it's pretty much as simple as keeping some chips, water, and a flashlight in your trunk. And with the temperatures dropping so suddenly, you'll want to make a habit of stopping at the gas station more often. If you're going to be traveling, you know, out of the area, you're going to be traveling a distance, and it's, it's, it's good to keep, especially in winter time, to keep a full tank of gas in your car, um, not let it get below half a tank. The Mountain State doesn't have the same packed multi-lane highways as the D.C. corridor, but the twisty roads around here have their own challenges, especially on the hilltops. It's a good idea to think before you get in your car about whether you're driving locally or a distance, and if you'll be on roads that are easy to get to if you need help. We get a quick two to three inches of snow, roadway conditions uh, deteriorate quickly, and uh, you know there has to be some time for you know the, the highway crews to be able to get out to you know to put down um, salt and cinders and also be able to pile those roadways in it. Even after that holiday trip home, the I-95 disaster shows the toughest driving challenges of the season are still ahead. But even icy roads are no match for a few survival supplies and a case of water. Now, if you're driving in West Virginia this winter, you may not know they have a special crew to help with roadside issues. It's called the Courtesy Patrol, and they're there to help you with those common struggles like tires and batteries. Reporting live in Wheeling, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.